in uh, the Taino spirituality, we have the great spirit, which is um, a dual entity, and uh, the name is Jaja. So Jaja has uh, its uh, feminine representation, who is Atabeira, and the masculine representation with his, uh, her son, Yukahu. Then, in the, the directions, we are situated at the island of Hispaniola in the Caribbean, which name was um, Quisqueya, Haiti, or Boio, which means home in Taino. And in the east, we have this region called Higüe, the spirit of the sun. And there we have a cave where this deity inhabits. Her name is Iguana Boina, and she's half Iguana and half Boina, which is snake. Because the Iguana has in, in the, its back, she carries this, the rays of the sun in her back. And the snake, Boina, the prints that uh, the snakes carries on their skins are the clouds. And we can have either rain or either clear time. And this is governed by Iguanaboina sons, who are Marohu, who is the clear time, and Boinagel, who is the rain. Then in the west, it is a region called Soraya. It is Koaibai. It is the place where the souls go to rest after they have lived on earth. And uh, the name of these souls is Opia. In the north, we have the fairy hurricane which name is Guabang Sex. The Taino people, we consider Guabang Sex, um, even though it is so fiery and scary, but we consider her like, um, like a, a benevolent entity because, and deity, because um, she, what she does is to destroy what doesn't serve us anymore so that better things can grow. And uh, it is a woman, or, well, actually, it is, um, it, it is woman and is also men, like, uh, like uh, Jaja. And Cuatrisquie uh, is, um, is, is who come, she has the two heralds, Cuatrisquie, who comes uh, announcing with rains, and, um, and then Jatauba. Guatauba, who, who brings the thunder. And um, we pray to her so she doesn't harm the land and, um, and us very much when she is not happy with what is going on. Then in the south, the south is the region of the desert where there is nothing and where life is going to spring. And this is the region of the fire, the creation. And with the fire, we can cook our, our food, and this is represented by our bread that is made out of yuca, the root that grows in the Caribbean. And the name of this bread is cassava, and, and cassabe is in, in, the, in Taino. And he also keeps our medicine, which is the cojoba, which the chiefs that can be either men or women, and the shamans who are called behikes, they use this medicine to get in touch with our god, goddesses, and spirits in the sky. By Yamanako, our grandfather, he keeps this fire lit and our food and our medicine, because the God and Goddesses, they guide us through life. They are the ones who have the answers. 
Then we prayed to the sun, to the cosmos, who is who gives us light and life. And finally, we finished with Mother Earth, which is Atabeira, but which is called Itiba Kaubaba, the bloody mother who died giving birth to the four twins, which first one, the Minan Caracol, is our cultural hero who created the world. And it's a story that I'm going to tell you later on. Mm, wonderful. So the purpose of that invocation was to connect with all of those goddesses and forces and elements of the earth and the cosmos. Yes, the purpose is to connect with our god goddesses and keepers of the cardinal points so that here we can have a holy moment to invite them to come here through the prayers and um, we can all join together this celebration in peace and harmony with our hearts open. Mm. And as you say that about us joining together in, in peace and harmony and part of the reason I'm, you know, so moved by indigenous culture, you know, being steeped in an indigenous instrument, you know, djembe and dunun from West Africa and just loving indigenous music, I f really feel like our world, our Western world needs more of that um, indigenous sensibility, that sense of connection because uh, I don't know if everybody heard about the tragedy that happened. Some 50 people uh, killed in a nightclub, I believe. And to me, it seems like things like that happen increasingly in our Western society because we've lost contact to the soul of the earth and to our sense of place in the cosmos and how it manifests you know, as an individual soul with a destiny, with a purpose that's connected to everybody else. Because if we truly feel connected, we're not going to uh, be violent to each other. And even when we do experience difficulty and tragedy, you know, you mentioned the hurricane, that even a hurricane for the Taino, um, the purpose, I think you said, was to remove that which no longer serves us. So there is positive destruction, if you will. Yes, because so what she does is um, just to remind us that uh, we need to follow the path of truth, of um, honesty, and uh, work together here. Because um, our purpose, our purpose here um, in the Taino spirituality is uh, to come to discover why you are here, because everybody has a purpose. Everybody came here for one reason, and um, we need to discover what is our gift and talent in order to develop it and share it. And uh, with this, every one of us contributes to humanity. So when this doesn't happen, Atabeira, which, com which becomes Guabang sex, then she destroys all of these negative patterns so people can understand that they need to follow their paths. Mm. Shall we give them an experience of Atabeira? Yes. Atabeira the feminine representation of Jaya, Atabeira, Germán, Guacar, Apito, Suimaco, her five names.
beira de armal E aí, com a cara pinto E aí, sui mago a da beira E aí, e aí, e aí, e aí